This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. All right, so we are moving on to our next, our next set. Welcome to part three, and this is going to be our final part. Uh, I'm just going to show a couple things real quick, and I'll finish most of these offline. Um, and you know, the best way to see them, you can see them at our live playthrough. Now, for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a different technique to this. So I'm going to take some Nurgle Green and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry brush all these before I, I, um, I add all the highlights and stuff I want to. And there's a reason for that because this Nurgle Green is very, very, um, it's very strong in a, in a way and it's really going to take a, a lot out of it. So again, it's just taking some and then just painting basically your paper towel until you get it to where you want it to. So I'm going to take this paint off, I'm going to get these started, and I'm going to show you how they look when they're done. So now that we got most of the paint off, all I want to do is just kind of lighten up these areas a little bit. And a lot of it that I'm going over with, or it may look like it's getting a little darker on, and I'm just very lightly going over this and just trying to dull down some of that, that green there. Um, it's kind of bright. So I'm just taking and doing that. And we've got another guy here that we can actually work on. And just, it's just hitting the edges and, and giving us another uh, different bunch of shadows on, on these guys, which we really want to do. And, and it's dulling down some of that plastic, which is exactly what I'm trying to do here. And there we go. We're starting to get what we're kind of looking for. And then when we add the highlights in, you'll see exactly how this will all come together very, very nicely. We're even gonna do a little love to this guy here. We're just gonna hit some of his main areas just around his legs. And I just wanna hit, yeah, just I'm trying, I'm being very careful. There's very, very little uh, work on this brush here. And I'm just, going up over some of the more greener areas and really just trying just to the point where you're not even going to notice but unless you looked really really hard and you'll see that you're getting a little bit of definition there especially at the seams here and that's what we're really trying to do with this big boy and I'm going to finish we'll show you how it all turns out now we're just going to add some black highlights and some, we're gonna take like a Zandri dust and we're gonna work some things in here as well. So I'm gonna do all these and I'm just gonna hit certain areas just so I can get that, that nice mixture there and then we'll do some lead belcher highlights too. And I'll show you when I'm, I'm done and where I put them so you guys can maybe just have some ideas of your, of your own and see where you would like to put them. Of course, always have that individuality where you just put things where you want to put them because they make you happy that's what really matters it's your vision of what you see for this particular unit all right let's take a look at where we are right here as you can see we just put our first two colors on there we put a, um, a tolerant sand which kind of fits in with the color that they did over here on the big guy I really like that and then we did our black trim, so we're pretty good there. And we did this on, on a couple of these guys here. And just trying to, you know, bring them to life a little bit more. On the yellow team here, uh, I decided to use some grays in here. Because grays go very well with, um, with yellow and really breaks, breaks it up a little bit. And as you can see, my blacks and my grays... And then uh, I did the same thing over here, just trying to break things up a little bit. And of course, this guy right here with our blacks and grays, just giving it just a little bit. Now we're going to go right into um, our lead belcher, and this is where we're going to we're going to take all the uh, parts and 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 add um, our silver uh, to it uh, to give it to give it some metallic look and so forth and so on. Um, you know wear and tear and stuff like that and parts that move you want to make sure that you have that lead belcher in there so I'm gonna get going on this and I'll show you when we're done 
All right, so we got the base coats on and everything, and we got the the ground on there, which we really want to hit home. As you can see, I went with a little bit of gray on each, uh, especially for the yellow to break it up a little bit. We're gonna throw a wash over the top too, and you'll see the the final product on on uh, on on Saturday when we play this. And here are the green guys that we did the same thing. We kind of just shift, you know, just kind of change things up a little bit, add a little color to them. And here is the airship, and you can see what we're going for. Now the big guys, these two guys particularly were pretty good, and all I did was add a little uh, gray ball in there, just like the rest. And I here all I had to do was just add the missiles and um, for the gun which uh, which helps out as you can see the antennas and then for this guy here I put all the missiles in uh, put that I added some color to the gun so it breaks it up uh, there really wasn't too much that needed to be done as you can see we have the red uh, uh, top here and I really liked how they were added a little silver in the joints and pretty much that that does it for these guys. Now the last thing I'm going to show you real quick is what I'm going to do with these bases. So just give me a second. All right, so up. all I'm going to take is some Ministry of Grey, which is really, really light and just, I'm going to just take a bunch of it off. This is just such a simple thing and just kind of just go over the top here and just give some of these bases a little bit more character. As you can see, as I'm just wiping over this it just helps and you know I could probably I probably took a little bit too much off we'll add some more here alright here we go again and we're just just going over the top as you can see the rock formations it makes it look like we are doing it's kinda like a rocky bottom there and you're really gonna see it here when we just kinda really go over this just hitting the high points and really just getting it to kind of just lay on top there. And that's all we want to do is we want to get that kind of look to it as you can see. So it looks like he's walking in a ruined uh, basic uh, um, uh, city. So it kind of matches the basis that we did for the city themselves. So that's about it. You'll see all these guys out on the battlefield. We'll bring everybody in a little bit and just close this out as you can see I'm trying out oh, we can zoom out a bit and there we go we got everybody where we want to be and where we want it and uh, that's about it that's how you paint uh, giant killer robots all it is is just making them however you want to see them and just having fun doing it so that's it and until next time I'm Rob Horn we'll see you soon